Hey, it's Joe Lines, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, a tool Maestruth and I put together, um, and basically talking about controls. Now, this simple spy is what we've called this. Um, it's heavily influenced and borrowed from um, a wind spy from Al Algamist, I think it's the name. Let me see here. Yeah. And um, here's the link to the full version. There's the, the tool he put together does a 80 more things, probably even more than that, than what this one does. Uh, to me, the problem was, for people who are new to this stuff, it's really confusing, and there's so much stuff you don't need. I wanted a tool that was very simple, only brought in the basics of what you needed um, to allow you to stay focused. Um, so for advanced users, I definitely recommend using the other one. Um, even then, I think for the most part, this one's going to be, it gets you the bare bones for the most part, 90% of the time, what you want, it gives you what you want. So controls, um, to me, they're... I, I don't know, it's confusing in the, the verbiage because in auto hotkey, there's a thing called, you know, get controls or just controls and get control text and set control, or sorry, control get text, control get set text, all these things. Um, however, to me, it's a little confusing because in the original tool, which is, it's in every wind spy tool I've ever seen, when you drag, like I'm going to drag here and let's just drop on something, right? So this, this right here, this is actually the class nn meaning it's a class instance which has the id at the back so the nn um, is like this three here the class is more than likely just this direct ui hwnd and then the class nn you throw on that three it's the instance so it's the third one in this window of that class and um to me i always had this big disconnect of like well where where in the world is the, the control like show me the darn control i want a, a spy tool to give me the control and you had to know that like when when you say control you're really meaning class nn um and and that was honestly just really confusing um and then in the actual tool built by algorithmist it it didn't show you the the ahk class here which is what you is really great is for the overall window it had the parent class um, in that window and i'm like i want i want these two things available possibly the top one uh, but let me demonstrate here so let's let's pick like there here's this calculator i have right so let's say I drag onto here, um, and you can see it's blinking. Oh, that's an eight. Um, let's say, so it's eight. What if I want to do something crazy and make it two nines in a row, right? So I'm going to make that a nine. I'm going to hear, hit set text. Now look, suddenly, right, I've actually programmatically changed the look. It doesn't change the functionality, right? It just changed the text that was visible here. Um, and I can also hit this tree button. And it will allow me to click around and show the other controls. Um, again, they're class and ends, but the other controls on the screen. And so if I wanted to change the, actually, let's, let's see, that is the, the, the 21st, um, T, but bit button, whatever the world that means. Um, let's go up to the, where the E is and E I'm going to change that to a J just for fun. Right? So I'm going to set that to a J I'll use my the accelerator key there so i made that into a j um, i don't i think sometimes when you do this it might actually break the functionality right this isn't what i recommend that you actually use the tool for i'm just demonstrating some of the functionality of this i'm going to build a series of videos following this about how to get text how to set it how to change it from like a list box or a list view um, there's a lot of things you can do with controls especially any program that doesn't have, I mean, even some that have the, the window, the ribbon, um, you can adjust, especially the edit controls, but maybe not some other stuff, but like check boxes and things. It's, it's amazing. The functionality of using controls that you can do. Um, and so we, we built this tool. I really like it. So by the way, the other things, let's see, um, notice tape calc right now, that's the highest level. But if I say refresh all, this will actually bring it up to the desktop and show me everything that I could interact with. Right, so I think I had, did I have, I still have it open, Fiddler. Um, Windows Forms, is that the Fiddler? Yeah, that's the Fiddler window. Um, so let me, I'm going to close this for now, and let's let's switch over to the Fiddler window, and I'm just going to demonstrate a little bit more about this tool. Um, and then later I'll get into the, the really cool functionality. So here we can see what's highlighted, right? It'll blink a couple times and then stop. Um, is that the, nope, that's still that one. All right, that's up in there. Let's say I wanted to, let's see, under tools, options, right? I wanted to check or uncheck some of these boxes right here. I can get, and sometimes the drag and, there we go. 
So that has, this is the 11th one, right? And this is where you'd put in this class info here to connect to it. And again, I'm gonna demonstrate the coding in other videos. Um, I just like keeping things short and concise. Uh, I know it's a lot easier for people to follow. Um, um, the other functionality is the find. So let's say um, I knew there was a certain name of a, of a class out there. So let's say scintilla. I start typing and it narrows down, oh, here's Scintilla both in, this is AutoHotKey EXE is actually um, AutoHotKey Studio. And then I have site running somewhere, right? So this allows me to look at it. I think I can jump to it. Oh, let's see, do that. Um, let's see what, it, oh, hey, where'd we go? All right. Um, oh, um, this, no. Let's, where did my, where'd my find go? That doesn't, that's interesting. I'll have to um, talk to Mastery about that, of why the find. I thought this was also jumping to them. Um, perhaps it isn't. That's auto Hockey Studio. I should jump to this one because we know that's the right one. Anyway, all right, well, so that, it still helps you find it. Um, it, it. It used to be interactive. I know we tested it before, but let's drag this in here. There we go. So now site is active um, and we can see here is the text from that window, right? Um, and that looks, it doesn't like there's much in site that we can actually interact with at this window. But again, if we went under tools and let's say, what are our options? Options. Um, it's interesting because there's no real settings here. What is the auto hotkey? It was under here, auto hotkey site. Auto hotkey settings. This I think bring, yeah, it brings up this kind of a window. And then we can look around in here. So there are some settings, actually like the checkbox we could probably grab. Um, yeah, we can button. And I'm pretty sure once we have it like a button like that, we could um, set or unset it, uh, uh, check or uncheck it. So uh, anyway, this tool, I think it's pretty cool. It, it, it's still a work in progress. We, do, we haven't got it all for, worked out, but um, we, we borrowed heavily from that original script and then um, Maestrith actually rewrote virtually, well, 90% of it, I'd say. He, he borrowed a little bit like this drag functionality, I think he kept, and then some of the um, like icons we borrowed from, but the, the vast majority of it, he re rewrote in a different way just to help it be a little bit more organized and um, and again, we, I dropped out a lot of functionality. So if you're an advanced user, it's a cool tool. But um, I think for intro people and using controls, this is going to be a much easier to follow, easier to understand, um, not so overwhelming tool. So thanks. See you soon. Cheers.